I arrived in college without a clue of how to cook, just eagerness and necessity to figure it out, to fail, miss time, burn, screw up, and make some incredibly semi-edible meals. I became friends with Caitlin as we together perfected the dish we called Black Bean Mush, transforming a simple can of beans with a few spices and when we'd splurge an onion into a tasty ensemble to be eaten on toast in a pita or college style direct from the fry pan. Those early memories of black bean mush of friendships becoming real, I realize now the heart of cooking is transformation. The transformation of light into energy in plants and plankton alike to be consumed by us and other animals in the web of life we find ourselves entangled. For energy is never created nor destroyed. It is simply transformed. It's the transformation of groceries into meals, and those meals the site of more transformations still, of acquaintances into friends, and friends into family. The transformation of simple ingredients into nourishment for the body and the soul. That's why cooking is love, but not any love, a tough love, where things get burned and scorched, where you have to play with fire and notice the time it is on the clock of your heart. Because like cooking, the very act of love changes everything. What was once rock hard like a heart or a bean can with the right environment and ample time or a little pressure break down. Relenting into tenderness, doors open its once walled off cells unleashing the nutrient nourishment contained within and inviting all to the banquet. Because like a bean fed by those sun rays that charged no fees, that asked nothing in return other than to become what it was destined to be, love reminds our hearts of grace. The grace of life given without request, pregnant and potent with potential. Like the grace of yeast that abounds in all places and nations, ready to be fed by hipsters, bakers, and yes, even religious educators. Harnessing their abundance to give rise to hope, crusty on the outside, but tender within. They say we couldn't survive on just flour and water, but mixed together and left to ferment, fired in ovens, results in bread. And unlike the flour of its pre-transformed self, we could survive off bread just as we do survive off love. But not just any love, a tough love. A love that doesn't shy away from rolling up its sleeves, adding some motion to the mix of diving deep into the messy, knowing that it won't let us walk away unscathed, and why would we want it to anyways? The tough love that works us, kneading and folding, developing the muscles of connection, the very fibers that can withstand the fires of life's tangled blessings. Cooking, like love, it isn't a science or an art, it's alchemical, an alchemy of the ordinary, common ingredients transformed through creative intention, tenacity, grace, and skill, and just that little bit of acid. Don't forget the acid. Recipes but signposts on the way, marking the more trod paths, an alchemical romance, tenderizing the hardest of hearts, kneading the fibers that hold us together, surrendering to the mystery, the wonder and grace of every bite, of every moment, of all that love.